travelers! Today I want to talk to you a little bit about tipping at Sandals and Beaches resorts. Many all-inclusive resorts include tips, but once you get to the resort, you see people tipping left and right, and that can really add on to the cost of your vacation. $2 here, $5 here. Next thing you know, you've spent several hundred more dollars than you were expecting. But that is not the case at Sandals and Beaches. At Sandals and Beaches resorts, tipping is actually forbidden. So guests cannot tip the staff members. They will all wear buttons telling you that you can't tip and they are not allowed to accept tips. In fact, they can actually lose their jobs. Every once in a while I run across a guest or even a travel agent who's like, well, I'm going to tip because I want to. Well, I get that you want to, but you can actually imperil the job of the person that you want to reward if they go ahead and accept the tip and they get caught. So keep in mind that at Sandals and Beaches, tipping is forbidden in most cases. There are a few exceptions. So first of all, tipping is forbidden with Sandals and Beaches employees. Now keep in mind that not everybody that you encounter on your Sandals and Beaches vacation is actually a Sandals or Beaches employee. For instance, when you arrive at the airport, a Skycap will probably take your luggage from the Sandals lounge to your transportation. Those people are not Sandals or Beaches employees and you should tip them. Your driver, the person who drives you from the airport to the resort, not a Sandals or Beaches employee, and again, can accept tips, and it is customary to tip that person. Also, the spa employees, the people on resort in the spa, actually don't work for Sandals or Beaches, so again, they can be tipped. And there is one Sandals employee category where tipping is allowed, and it's pretty much expected and that's your butler. If you have a butler service room, you know, room in a butler service category, butlers can accept tips and it is customary to tip your butlers. You usually have a team of two, sometimes three, uh, and that, that is a customary tip. So those are the occasions at Sandals and Beaches where tipping is, I won't say required because tipping is never required, but it is allowed and it is customary to do so. Also, I want to let you in on something not everybody knows. In Barbados, at Sandals Barbados and Sandals Royal Barbados, you may see Sandals employees accepting tips. And this is because the laws of Barbados do not allow Sandals to forbid tipping. Tipping must be allowed. However, it is highly discouraged really really discouraged but if you're in Barbados and you see Sandals employees accepting tips this is why so what do you do though I mean a tip is sometimes you do it because you have to but sometimes you really think the person gave you great service and you want to reward them well Sandals does have a way to acknowledge somebody who gives you service above and beyond what's expected and that is the loop there is um, a website that you can go to and I will post the link in the comments and while you are on property this only works on property and you can give an employee a compliment and it goes directly to upper management and they respond they read every one of those and they will reward the employee on your behalf so if you want to acknowledge some great service, go to the loop and give that employee a compliment and they will hear from management that you gave them the compliment and you know, depending on what they did, they might get a certificate, they might just get a pat on the back or in the case where an employee is getting many, many compliments, they may actually get a reward. So that's the scoop on tipping at Sandals and Beaches Resorts. If you have any questions, you can always contact me at christine at moderntravelpros.com or by voice or text 804-833-8050. Happy traveling.